Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a bit of a shorter reading video. I just want to bring through a message for whoever might need one at this time. So if you do want to assist me in co-creating this reading, I do recommend liking the video and subscribing to the channel as these are forms of energy transfer that do allow me to pick up on your energy and vibration more easily. So I'm starting with the traditional tarot card deck today. By the way, for those of you who are new, welcome to the channel. Thank you for sharing your beautiful energy here. My name is Infinity, and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. And right as I was finishing that little intro, I heard the word mysterious, and I saw a divine feminine in my mind's eye. So I feel as though whoever I'm speaking to here, you are a divine feminine with a very mysterious energy at this time. And that is how others are perceiving you as well. They are sensing, I'm hearing sensing that you're up to something, either something you're manifesting, something you're shifting within yourself, but they feel as though they aren't really able to consciously access you or access whatever it is that you're doing. You are just generating a lot of curiosity in the quantum field with the Ace of Swords upright. I do see you extremely laser focused at this time from a spiritual perspective you've really been focusing all of your energy no longer on trying to figure out or understand the people around you but really opening up to understanding yourself and your purpose on a deeper level and that shift in your energy has rendered you highly magnetic and again ironically as you've shifted your focus away from others and inward towards yourself that's actually caused others to feel more magnetically drawn to you again it's as though you are i keep seeing like a rock in a pond making a huge ripple and you are making that huge ripple in the quantum field at this time so we also had the 10 of pentacles at the bottom of the deck so whatever you are doing or creating it is generating an energy of abundance around you and this is something that's a bit hidden or subconscious so it may be that that abundant thriving energy you are cultivating is building up a kind of spiritual momentum and in many respects certain aspects of your physical world or circumstances may actually look the same and yet this energetic momentum is building that is ultimately about to break loose and transform everything in the physical realm as well as we often say we have to shift the energy first and then the physical reality follows that shift in energy but there's very often a lag of time where our physical reality has to catch up to what we've shifted energetically and i see you kind of in that lag of time right now where you are holding a very powerful new frequency but many things in the physical world are still catching up to that state of energetic alignment with the devil card reversed i'm picking up that you have freed yourself or released yourself from something very heavy dense or controlling so this may have been a thought pattern within yourself this may have been some person or relationship that was very limiting to you this may have been a job however this resonates for you i feel as though it's like you finally had enough with this person or situation and released it or let it go and this is bringing you into tremendous balance with the two of pentacles upright yeah it seems as though 
with the hanged man, you may have been feeling really trapped or confined by some very manifested circumstance of your life, whether that was an environment, a place, a job, a person. And letting go has ultimately been this major breakthrough that is entirely up-leveling your vibration, your energy. And again, that is going to start reflecting in your physical world as a result. I feel that whatever you let go of here, what was necessary to release this was speaking your truth in a stronger way, expressing your authentic self more clearly with the chariot card actually sitting on the throat chakra here. I'm hearing that when you express your truth, your authentic soul frequency with the world, the people, things, and circumstances that are truly aligned with you gravitate towards you naturally, whereas the things that are not aligned with the energy of your truth will be repelled away from you. And I see you in this state of courage and confidence where you are no longer afraid of what you might repel or push away from you as you radiate that authentic frequency, as you show up in true, bold alignment with who you really are as a soul. Now, I have to say, as I've been channeling into all of these very powerful shifts happening within you, I did get a king of pentacles coming up here as well. So divine feminine, there is a divine masculine energy who is highly attracted to your authentic frequency. And I feel like this is a masculine energy that you did not have access to in the physical realm until you began really offering your true authentic vibration in a stronger way. Now, if this reading is future tense for you, because of course time doesn't exist at the level of energy, then it may be that this is your sign to no longer be afraid of who you push away with your truth because what you are going to be attracting in through the energy of that truth is worth what you might be repelling. Specifically, if this is applying for you in love, Again, there is a masculine who is very attracted to your authentic frequency, but they may have not been able to clearly sense and hear that frequency when in the past you may have still been living by other people's rules or diluting yourself in some way. As you do have the confidence to offer your authentic signal to share yourself in a stronger, clearer way. I see this masculine coming in very fast. This person is coming up as someone who is extremely grounded and stable. So in the physical world, it seems like they've established themselves in some type of way. They are also extremely reliable. They seem to have a lot of either status or something materially, certain markers of success, but I also see that they remain very grounded in all of that. They're very balanced. They don't seem to put a lot of stock in these physical things, even though they do have those markers of success. This could even be someone who is in the public eye or someone who's very well known, either on a large scale or in their immediate community. And with the Knight of Wands coming up here, I'm hearing they see you and when they see you in your truth and your power, it's like they are so irresistibly pulled to you by their heart space. They are feeling an irresistible amount of passion towards you. I'm seeing that in order to allow this person in, you may have had to release a different kind of masculine energy that was really burdening your aura. Now, this won't be the case for everyone. For others of you, this could be a sign to release a particular person or dynamic in your life who is weighing you down in some sense spiritually or energetically. With the Ten of Wands upright, This feels like you being overburdened by this person, feeling taken for granted, feeling as though 
they are taking a lot more than they are giving to you. There's a very unbalanced energetic equation between whoever I'm speaking to here and this particular masculine who seems to be more so someone from your past or someone who's been in your life. And it's almost like this is a dynamic that you've had to release or let go of in order to allow and create space for this king of pentacles and knight of wands more stable masculine energy to enter your life and i'm hearing what really had to be let go wasn't so much the person or the pattern again it gets back to when you start really coming into your truth and expressing your authentic self certain people aren't going to like it and they're going to feel pushed away by that particularly if they were feeding off of your energy and no longer have access to you as an energetic supply in the same way when you are showing up in your full-blown power and what i'm getting here is you may not have had to actively cut this person out of your life or walk away from them they simply gravitate away from you as you are showing up in your power so a deeper level message here is that really your only job is to have the courage to show up in your full-blown authentic most empowered version of self and to allow those who are aligned with you to connect with you whereas those who are not aligned with you in that power will naturally gravitate away from you now of course this does require a lot of courage at an emotional level as well this is far easier said than done because very often our human 3d self can become attached to people or circumstances or situations that may be connecting with us in a more diluted version of ourselves or from that less healed place so showing up in our true power can be intimidating because it requires us to really surrender to the universe to say i only want what is truly aligned with me when i am in my power when i am loving myself unconditionally when i am feeling confident living in alignment with who i really am at a soul level but i feel like you have had the courage to show up in that way and again you are being rewarded with some really magnificent things that are entering your life and really beautiful passionate connections that wouldn't have been able to gravitate in your life otherwise with the magician and the mirror card upright this is a really strong card of balance and i'm hearing that you are balancing your internal divine feminine and divine masculine energy in a very noticeable way at this time because while you've been strongly in your divine feminine energy for a while highly creative very much in touch with your inner emotional world carrying this power to create a vision and shift your own frequency to embody that vision you are now really mastering the other half of that equation and this may be something you are doing alone or in silence or secret with community reversed but what you seem to be doing is really supporting yourself with positive action steps that move you in alignment with the energy of that vision that you are embodying and again it's like this masters that second half of the equation and really balances you out internally and energetically which is calling in those physical manifestations in a really magnetic way so i am going to pull one final roomy oracle card to close this reading but speaking of you manifesting your heart's desires I also want to share with you my most powerful manifesting tool, and these are subliminals. Subliminals are audio meditations that contain unconscious spoken affirmations, and because these affirmations are masked within other sounds, tones, and frequencies, 
It allows them to bypass the conscious filter of the mind and make deeper, more lasting impressions on the subconscious mind. And this is so powerful because research has shown that it's actually the subconscious mind that controls 95% of our thoughts, actions, and outcomes in life. Personally, when I started meditating with subliminals, I saw extremely rapid and powerful results and shifts in pretty much every area of my life. So because I am so passionate about them, I am now sharing my own personal library of subliminals through my app Sound and Soulful. So as you can see on the screen, on this app, I have over 130 subliminals for basically every area of life. When you sign up for a seven day free trial account in the app, you can create your own custom private playlists. You can listen in eight different background sound options, and you can even read the affirmations while listening. Specifically for this reading, I would most highly recommend my subliminal for love magnetism. This is extremely powerful for clearing out any blockages to unconditional love that you might be storing, really magnetizing your energetic field for love, connection, and positive interaction. You can even use this subliminal to manifest a deeper or more harmonious connection with a specific person, such as is the case in this reading. You could potentially utilize this subliminal to assist you in manifesting a stronger connection with this masculine energy that's being attracted in here. So... I will be leaving a link to download my subliminals app in the pinned comment and description box underneath this video. For now, I am going to read one final Rumi Oracle message, and this card is Sacred Soul Sister. And the guidebook here says, so, rather than through direct perception, the sacred soul sister is met through reflection. She can be received in those moments of rest where great ideas are born. She is a genius, you see, vastly creative and inspired. Her worlds are those we access in sleep and meditation or absorbing engagement and activity where the mind can relax and drop into realities far more vast than those of daily life and be replenished. To receive her genius and benefit most fully requires a willingness to surrender logic and open up to inspiration, to become empty, to let the mind soften and become receptive, open, and permeable. She offers what is genuinely needed and answers the deepest questions of the heart. So that feels like a beautiful place to close the reading. If my energy resonates with you, I invite you to subscribe to the channel, join our beautiful community of like-minded, conscious, creative beings here on YouTube. You can also follow me on Instagram at magnetize yourself. And of course, the link to download my subliminals app is in the pinned comment and description box underneath the video. Otherwise, I am sending you all so much love today. Have a beautiful remainder of your day and I will connect with you here again in the next video.